YouTube, what's going on guys? Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Appreciate it. Today we're gonna be reacting to Barber Tutorials. But what I was gonna do originally was watch the Barber Tutorial with the most views on YouTube, which I'm still gonna do, look out for that video. But what I decided to do instead was show some love to the Barber community, especially up and coming Barbers on YouTube and actually look up Barber Tutorials with the least views i'm talking about a hundred or less views is what i'm gonna look for so let's go ahead and check this out again stay tuned because we will be reacting to videos with the most views on youtube but today we're gonna check out one barber tutorial with the least amount of views and if you guys like this series please let me know in the comments below smash the like button all that good stuff if you're new to the channel do subscribe man we constantly put out cool barber tutorials barber videos and anything in the industry including the entrepreneurial side with my vlogs and all that good stuff but let's see what we can find here. All right, so we're in the 400s. We gotta keep scrolling down. And this is in the last month or so. I am on incognito mode because I don't want my cookies to play a fact. I don't know how it could, but it might, you know what I'm saying? All right, now we are in the less than 100. Dang, fake genius, that, that looking kind of clean. Self haircut tutorial. Oh, that's clean, cuts by coast. All right, I might need to check that one out. That was four days ago. All right, let's go ahead and watch this one. This, see the thumbnail is so important. At less than 100 views, his thumbnail's on point, the cut looks fresh, must see transformation, yeah, he gets it. Let's check him out. Bring you another video. Today, I got my guy oh! Travis. I told you guys it was on incognito mode. I'm telling you guys, I did not know this was uh, Sean's man's. So he works at Sean's shop. Very talented. You doing it right, bro. Doing it right. Let's check it out. This, we're gonna do a one on top bald fade. We're gonna do a high bald fade, and we're gonna get right to the video. So we're gonna start this haircut out by combing all the hair in place, making the quality's on point. Make sure everything's That's Sean's right way, shot. and we'll get right into it. As you can tell already, my video quality is so much better. I just got my new camera in, and on this day, he was my first client that I had right after my new lens came in from UPS. You see the power clip, the 245 power clip. Yes. So I tried to hurry up and put together a video for you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy it. He tell us. Thanks. You could have cut that out, bro. You gotta cut, go to cut that trimmer, out. We're gonna go back in with the shaver and bump that all the way up to the line. Quality's on point, though. A lie. I might need to step up my, my quality. I've been using the iPhone for so long. It's been working. We're gonna start off with our wall metal magic clip with the Andis blade on it, that filthy mod modification. And we're setting in our first guideline about an inch high. We're gonna go ahead and do our lever halfway open and all the way close here in this front section. I'm kind of breaking his head up into about five sections. I typically do two sections on one side, same in the other, and then I do the back because it's own little section. So whenever I'm fading, I always do lever all the way open, lever halfway open, bumping up to that line, I do lever close, just taking out that bottom line. If there's a hint of a line, I'll go back in with my trimmer and I'll take that out. Hey, those detailers are nice. Sean customized his, he got the, the babyless set up, but these details, the way he customized these details, they are, they're fire. So we're gonna go with our one guard all the way open. We're still gonna do the same steps and make sure that we- We fade very similar. Go lever all the way open, halfway open, then all the way close. Really all we're doing here is cutting the color and just trying to take out any hints of a line that we see. This is half guard, or the zero, number zero. I don't like those new number zeros. He's doing you can see the lighting on this video is kind of jumping around just a little bit. I just figured out how to do all my autofocus, manual focus, all the basic manual settings to a camera as far as the aperture and the ISO and all that stuff. It's a lot to take in, so this was literally my first haircut with the camera. Here for a second, you kind of got to bear with me, but then I get it right in the perfect, crispy quality. Bro, if this is his first tutorial with this camera, y'all subscribe to this man, because he's just going to get better. This channel's going to blow up. I already know it. Sean's is already blowing up. Sean Cut's hair is already blown up. He's an educator on the Academy, by the way, on Zoom 45 Academy, but you could tell he's got passion for what he's doing, man. The last step to this side is going with it, going in with our wall, one and a half guard, all the way closed, just flicking up to the top. We only did a one guard close with the grain on top, so it's not a whole lot of weight we necessarily need to leave. And then we'll clean that up with the one guard all the way open and we'll be done with this side. He's efficient. He's got his system least, down pat. Go in and make sure that you're detailing your fade. Just go back in. Yep. If there's any dark spots, you take them out now instead of stressing so hard your first pass through. It's on point. Hey. That one and a half guard. I think he did a, a, what was it, a one open at the beginning? Yeah, once he lines them up, 
puts that enhancement up, if he does put enhancement, so right I here, think guys, he should. We're go ahead and go in with our wall detailer, set in our bald line, take our gold FX, which helps clear a little bit more bulk easier, and then we're gonna go in with our gold FX shaver, and we're gonna fully bald him all the way out. And if oh. you kind of look over here to the right by his ear, you can kind of see a dimple in his head, and that kind of plays a part whenever you pick a haircut for a certain person, because he just tells me bald fade and sits down. You know what I mean? So as a professional, my judgment was to take it a little bit high. And that's a compliment, man. You're always gonna have some clients that are super picky. They're gonna want to hold the hand mirror while you're cutting their hair, like. That's how OD some clients are. The best clients are the ones that let you do your thing. A lot of times they're the best paying customers because they, they really respect your craft and they appreciate you and they know what you have to offer. So I could definitely relate to what he just said. And, and any dimples, you know, it makes it a little bit harder on you. So as a professional, you make the call on whether to take it higher than or lower than any dimples in the head. And right here, we're going to go into our Andis Zero Guard. Zero Guard. I'm definitely glad they improved that since the last time that I used a master using this filthy mod i had to buy all the guards again and that is a major improvement that they did i don't like it man i don't like the news anyways what i was getting at about that half guard or a zero guard is you really just want to make sure you use that as a detailer in your fade i know he's gonna clean this up but that spot right there that's from that indent but i know he's gonna clean it up have really as a guideline in your fade because they're half guards they're supposed to just clean up in between if you watch this far, you know how I like to do it. I always like to speed up the last side and just kind of let the music ride and drop a gym where I see fit. If you have any questions about anything going on in this video, feel free to comment so I can get back to you guys and create better content. And this is my first video with that new camera, like I said in the beginning. Hopefully the quality will go up from here. Your focus stays on the head that I'm working on. So that's a big plus for me. And really, he was the perfect client to do this on. He's got some pretty nice hair. I really could have balled him out with just the, with just my trimmers and not even had to use a shaver. I love I love cutting like the first, you know, just just canvases that take perfect fade. I love it, man. It's satisfying, you know what I mean? But I'm blurry. Here, we're just gonna apply some hairspray to the oh, yeah. client's hairline, brush it all the way down, and get ready for the lineup. I'm telling you, watching him cut hair, he really caters to his client. My man put the, the face mask, I just used my head <laughs> and spray. I just used my hands, but I mean, he used the, the clear mask. I mean, he's really taking care of his client, man. You gotta appreciate that. I did use a one guard closed on top, so I used the half guard or the zero guard all the way open. Bro, this is like the sixth tool he's used. He's used the detailers. He used the gold babyless FX, skeleton FX. He used this customized skeleton FX. He used the wall with the filthy mod. What else did he use? And I, I could have sworn he used another clipper, but I could be wrong. He's going on his fifth one. I respect it. Here we are with our lineup using our babyless silver FX custom by Sean Cuts Hair. Shout out to him. Run that technique back a little bit. Hold on. You got some big cojones, bro. Like that's that's tough. That's tough. That technique right there. <laughs> he finessed that one. Another thing, if you've gotten this far as a day one sub, leave me a comment down below. But I feel like I'm doing better at my camera angles. That was a big thing at first. I would record something and you know their head would be halfway off the screen. I just want to know a little bit of some feedback on how I'm growing as a person on a YouTube channel. You're doing good, man. You're doing good. We're gonna go in with our razor right here and dry shave him. We're gonna hold the razor at a 45 degree angle, making sure we don't dig into his skin any. Like this, is the, this was the perfect tutorial to start off this series. And we're just gonna lay in some fibers. This was a quick cut, so I didn't really want to do the no drip spray and everything, but this was just enough to throw on there for you. Hey. The no drip. If you don't have one of those already, go ahead and head over to SeanCutsHair.com and grab you one of those color enhancement cards. And here we go, guys. This is the finished product. Here's a little spin around. Mm. I'll throw the beginning back on there for you guys to see. You gotta love the client's reaction. I hope you guys agree that this is the best transformation for him. And if you guys like this video, leave me a like, Yeesh. comment, subscribe. All right, guys, that's it. It's Cuts by Coast, and I'm out of here. Mm. 
I rocked with it, man. I thought that was dope. Cuts by Coves. Man, I, I, I hope your channel blows up, bro. Keep doing your thing, bro. That video had less than 100 views, but I'm sure the people who... Let's see how many subscribers he's got. He's got 234 subscribers. All right. All right. So I'm sure I'm sure you're 234 subscribers, man. First off, they're probably hungry. They're probably eating up as much content as possible. So shout out to them. But uh, hopefully your subscribers definitely blow up, man. You got a great team with you with Sean. You, I, I'm, I think you had Clutch. Yeah, Sean Cuts Hairs Barbershop. Love it. Love the, the content, bro. Keep doing your thing. Shout out to uh, Cuts by Coast. That's it, guys. That's the first video of this series right and i think we're just gonna call it reacting to barber tutorials with no views if you guys like that series if you guys want me to do more of these videos please do let me know in the comments below smash the like button it always helps the youtube channel and i think the next one we're gonna do is uh reacting to barber tutorials with the most views and i think that it's gonna be interesting to see the difference in those series like are the ones with the most views that much better that much more quality than the ones with no views i don't know man because that tutorial by cuts by coast was a banger with that being said guys thank you guys for checking out the video and i'll see y'all on the next drop